Hey everyone, I'm Megan Kelly. Welcome to the Megan Kelly Show. Happy March 1st. 15 years ago today, I married Doug Brunt, the single best decision of my life. I'm not afraid to tell you. We got married at Ohika Castle on Long Island, New York. It was a perfect winter day, just like today. The light snowfall, those fat, fluffy flakes outside the window. As inside, we burned wood fires and we topped the tables with cherry blossoms just coming into season. It was my second marriage, Doug's first. And I actually feel lucky that it was a second marriage for me. I went in eyes open, having learned a lot about what it takes to make a marriage work and probably even more important, a lot about myself. What do I really want in a man? How do I want to communicate and be? Those are things you need to think about. When I met Doug, I was confused at first. He was different from what I thought I wanted, more reserved, less cocky. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. He was kind, he was smart, he was strong, but not in a domineering way and in no way intimidated by me or my strength. He was a gentleman raised by loving, thoughtful parents in the Philadelphia suburbs. The kid who got the all around best guy award at his private high school. And if you know him, you're not surprised by this. The kind of guy who never bullied anyone, who fought his way out of desperate shyness as a young boy to a man who, yes, writes for a living, which certainly appeals to his time as an avid young reader who spent lots of time alone, but also is now hosting his very own podcast, speaking and interacting with others for a living. It's called Dedicated with Doug Brunt, and it's uh, about books and authors, and it's great. Our romance was a whirlwind. 14 months after we met, Doug asked me to marry him. Within six months of that, we were married. Three kids later, still going strong. I watched some of our wedding video, which we're showing you here this morning, believe it or not. I cried as my friend and stylist Sarah, Sarah did my hair, and I saw the part with the vows. Kelly Wright, my dear friend from Fox News, was our minister. I cannot get through this video without crying. But why? Because it's so optimistic, isn't it? There's something so beautiful about love and commitment to the promise of building a life together all the days of my life. Over that 15 years, we've suffered loss. His dad, my sister, my Nana, to name a few. We've seen our careers go through massive highs and lows. He left his CEO job to write full time. I had very weird public battles with men like Trump, Ailes, and Putin. The NBC thing was traumatic. More so on Doug than on me, because it's always worse seeing the ones you love suffer and knowing there's nothing you can do. But in the end, it, it all brought us closer together. We spent a lot of hours holding each other, doing nothing, just hanging, being with one another. We refused to let the stressors cause strife between us. He's always been my number one supporter, and I have always been his. Any constructive feedback is gentle and from a loving place. More typically, our instincts are to defend the other avidly and fight any attackers. Creating three humans feels like an accomplishment, not gonna lie. All parents know you look at your children and you think, oh my God, I will never do something more meaningful than this. Not a day goes by that I don't look at Doug and say, thank God. Thank God I am doing this with him. Thank God I don't have to do this alone as so many single parents do. Parenthood is incredibly rewarding, but it's tough in a lot of ways. It tries your patience, your energy, your anger management skills, your wisdom, your sense of justice, and more. The reprieve of having a partner for it all is a gift from above and one to be treasured and protected. The family unit is worth fighting for. That love you built this whole thing on is worth nurturing. 15 years in, what I want to say to the young women of this country is this is where the pot of gold is. Not in random sexual partners who don't give a damn about you. Not in weird new sexuality titles that pronounce you will sleep with anyone and everyone and often at the same time. Not in an all-in profession that asks so much of you, there is no time for personal connection. The thing, the thing that matters is finding meaningful connection in your life. Even just one can be life-changing. Ideally, I would say romantic love, but it could be in another way too. To have that partner with institutional knowledge of you who makes your coffee in the morning or puts a flower on the bed 
or moves you to the inside of the sidewalk so you're not by the traffic, who calls you out on your BS and is quick to hug you after an argument, who laughs at himself and lovingly at you too and helps remind you not to take any of this too seriously. Nothing in my life has been as fulfilling to me as that relationship and the goodness that stems from it. The beauty and the love I see and feel toward my kids, it all started there. It started there. It started on this day, all those years ago, in something so good, it could only ever lead to more goodness and joy. It's something Doug and I created, and you can do the same. If you're alone and you don't want to be, take a risk. Join a book club or the newcomers club or take music lessons or something to get yourself out there and start meeting people. Stay open-minded. Maybe the package doesn't arrive just as you expected it to. Try, fail, try again. Stay open-minded again. If you know that you have stuff to work on that's preventing you from meeting someone, work on it. Get therapy like I did after my first marriage often. Maybe group therapy, which I did too. I remember asking my lady, Amy, how screwed up am I? (laughs) But I worked on it and I did better. Put that excess energy into yourself, build a more solid you, and then the more solid partners will come. Trust me. And if you're in a marriage, especially one with children, here's your reminder that it's worth the effort. Use a generous lens on your spouse. Speak your peace with kindness. And in those moments where you inevitably forget all that, recover quickly and apologize even faster. As Dr. Laura says, wake up and ask yourself each day, what can I do to make his day better? How can I make him happy? It all comes back to you. It's an investment in all the things you likely hold most dear. Doug, thank you for asking me to marry you on that beautiful fall day at the beach in September of 2007. Thank you for meeting me down that aisle on Long Island on March 1st and for walking next to me ever since. Should our lives be long or short, as the queen said, From this point forward, our kids will always know we spent them well because we were together. Somehow in the vast universe, we found each other. We loved each other and we treated each other well. That's something in today's world. It's everything, in fact. Happy anniversary, babe. Look, you did the tough thing during COVID. You paid your people and pulled your business through the pandemic. And now doing the tough thing could qualify you for up to 26,000 bucks per employee at covidtaxrelief.org. Government funds are available to reward companies with two or more employees who stayed open during COVID. This is not a loan and you don't have to pay it back. The program is complicated, but nobody knows more about it than the CPAs and tax experts at covidtaxrelief.org. You pay nothing up front. They do all the work and then they share a percentage of the cash they get for you. Businesses of all types, including nonprofits and churches, can qualify, even those who took PPP loans and even those who had increases in sales. You did the tough thing for your employees during COVID. Let covidtaxrelief.org do the tough thing for you and get you up to $26,000 per employee. It would be tough for you to do. It's actually not that tough for covidtaxrelief.org. They know exactly what they're doing. And if you qualify, they're going to get this for you. covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.